welcome to Callum Connects, five minute entrepreneurial inspiration for your day. Sydney Stuckett joins us today on Callum Connects Micro Podcast. Sydney is a freelance editor that can be found on Upwork, where he takes up jobs specializing in story development, organization, and trimming. For me, the largest hurdle I face so far as an entrepreneur is really just getting started from finding the right resources to especially marketing myself and to honestly just encouraging myself to keep pursuing the type of work that I wanted to do. I was quickly able to overcome most of this, like most of it, not all of it. <laughs> I was really able to come most of it by just looking into like the type of resources that are out there, really doing detailed searches, looking at reviews, see how things work. And I was able to find a resource through Upwork, a freelance website where I was able to conduct a lot of my business. I was easily able to sign up. And once I did, once I got started, I was applying for jobs. It it took a while, but eventually I was able to apply for a lot of short-term jobs. I even got a long-term job even now. And even now I'm still able to apply for short-term jobs and even have people at least recommend me for other types of work. And through all that, it really just took patience, perseverance. And that's the kind of thing that you have to have when you go into being an entrepreneur. Everything's gonna be very slow. People aren't gonna to wanna to work with you because you're, they see you as inexperienced because you're just now starting your job as in with people who have started doing their field of work maybe like several years ago. And you also just have to have a level of confidence where you can go in. Now, for me, I talked about how encouragement was like a big problem for me because I was stacking up against like people who probably had more years of more experience as an editor. I just started doing it as a job because I was so good at like, you know, giving people advice on story structure, character development, so on and so forth. So I wanted to make it into a job and yeah just being against people who do it professionally for a living it was daunting at first but eventually you do it people will give you amazing feedback and you know that builds up your confidence and through that you know you also have to be honest about your strengths and weaknesses i know what i'm good at i know what i'm not good at and that also helps encourages you to keep pursuing the type of work that you want to do it definitely did for me i was able to apply for more jobs i got more confident i saw a job posting that you know a year ago i would have never applied for but now i feel as though i can do just as good as just anyone else with all their years of experience and that's the type of mentality you have to have when you want to go into something like this and so those are the most important keys i can really or a piece of advice I can really give. Have patience, persevere, and really just believe in your work. You started this for a reason. So really just believe in yourself and really give yourself the time to put everything together, organize yourself into a better professional tomorrow because there's always something to build upon yourself from the past and the present and then make a better you tomorrow. So. Just keep, just keep going for it. That's really all I can say. If you enjoyed this podcast and would like to learn more about incredible entrepreneurs around the world doing amazing things, head over to enterprisezone.cc 